guys like ever lived in a studio apartment? Have you guys ever done like the 600 square foot studio apartment, right? Like, and like no judgment, like I've, I've done that before. I also, when I was in college, kind of crashed in my buddies. He had like this suburban McMansion, you know, it was like 6,000 square feet. And he was, he traveled 90% of the time. So I had this massive thing. I realized that in both of those scenarios, I magically accumulated as much crap as the space I had to fill. You know what I mean? And we, we tend to do that. That's a, that's a human, that's like part of our evolutionary adaptation is that we tend to fill the space that we're in with things that we have. So this is true both uh, with like our living quarters and our time. So that's what we're gonna talk about is become better stewards of our time. How many times have you legitimately said that? Like, hey, how are you? How are things going? Oh, busy. Like, yeah. that's our default go-to, right? Right? Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's always this feeling. We're always going to feel like the amount of time that we spend doing it, it's like that house. It's always going to feel like it's max capacity, right? But that's our nature, is to feel. So the two things that humans do exceptionally well and it's hardwired in our DNA, is to adapt to circumstances and to conserve energy. So like those are the like biological parts of us. We'll always do those two things. What does that mean? We can adapt to having more time required of us. Who has kids? How much busier are you now than before you had kids? It's almost absurd to think about, right? You're like, what was I doing before when I had all of that time, right? But you adapt. Right? That's like what humans do is they adapt to circumstances. Conversely, we conserve energy. That's why we're at the top of the food chain. We conserve energy and we adapt to circumstances. So if you have three kids, that's going to be the max that you can handle. When you have your fourth, that will be the max that you can handle. When you have your tenth, that will be the max that you can handle. Each time you add something to that mix, that is the maximum amount that you can handle. So it stands to reason that no matter how busy you are today, can you handle more? Can you adapt to handle more than what you're doing today? Absolutely. When I was taking like 14 credit hours in college, oh my God, I'm so busy. I'm studying so much. And then I got my first eight hour job. Oh, I'm so busy, eight hours of work a day, right? And then I started a company. Oh, I wish I could only go back to working eight hours a day. Then I started another company. Oh, I wish I could go back to a 12 hour work day. But each time you adapt to the circumstances that you're in, right? So that's like gonna be our baseline. So no matter how much time feels constrained right now, you can adapt to more. So like my wife is obsessed with Big Cat Week on Nat Geo. Are you guys familiar with this? Have you seen Big Cat Week? It's awesome. It's like Shark Week, but with like cheetahs and lions and stuff. And so I was trying to think of an example as to like how do we illustrate this idea that you're capable of doing more with your time, being more efficient with it. I was like thinking of cheetahs and humans, right, compared to one another. And for the most part, like a cheetah just kind of comes out of its mother like running 70 miles an hour, right? And just by default, like, you know, after like a couple months, you teach hunt, then all cheetahs run about 70 miles an hour. There's probably a range of like 68 to like 73 miles an hour. But there's not like a cheetah that runs 114 and a cheetah that runs like 43, right? There's not a, a wide range from within cheetahs, right? Can we all agree on that? So there is a range between me on a Sunday afternoon watching Netflix and Elon Musk, right? <laughs> You see what I'm saying? Like, uh, you guys, are, I, I assume this is celebrating the launch of the SpaceX rocket, right? So think about this. Hum like, we're animals, we're mammals, but the range of what this mammal is capable of is insane, right? It's like me on Sunday and Elon Musk on Sunday. That's like a, a cheetah that can barely walk and then a cheetah that can run 100 miles an hour. So we're like the only example of mammals that have that range of capability. And why is that? We can serve energy for where we are right now. This is the max that I can handle. This is the most push-ups I can do. This is the most time that I have available to me. 
right? But we have to have a stimulus to adapt to that, right? Having a kid is a stimulus. Starting a company is a stimulus. Getting a promotion is a stimulus. You adapt to each one of those things, right? So when it comes to being more productive, to finding more time, to feeling less busy, being less stressed out, like our baseline assumption is that we can create the opportunity for adaptation and, and always have more. There's always more possible, right? So we want to start with that baseline. Mm -hmm.